Hey, what's up everybody? Abbas here from Golden Motor. Today we're doing another display video. I'm gonna be covering the DS103 for CYC Motors in detail today. So the DS103 is a LCD display. It comes with a pin pad. The pin pad can go either on the right side or the left side, depending on your preference. Uh, it has four buttons on it, the power button on the top, the menu button, and the up and down button. Uh, the display is IP65 waterproof rated, and I'm gonna put the dimensions of the display and the pin pad on the screen right now, so you can pause your screen to look at that. So to turn on your display, you just hold down the power button for a few seconds, three seconds to be exact. There you go. So this is your DS103 home screen. On the top is the time. On the left over here is the motor temperature. Right top is your controller temperature. So that's pretty cool. And you can change the units on all of these, a kilometer, Celsius, and the time. And I'll show you how to do that in the menu settings. Over here, this bar right here, it shows you your assist level. So level one, level two, level three, and you can change this by the up and down button and you can have it off. It has the, this display has the capability of beats per minute, but I don't think uh, it's integrated right, right now into the system, hopefully in the future. That would be pretty nice. On the top is your battery indicator. Um, I wouldn't go by the accuracy on this. This gives you a general idea. Um, but over here, this is a little bit more accurate by voltage. Um, and then I also taught in the screen, it gives you efficiency rating, which is your watt hours per kilometer, your motor power, which is in watts, and your motor RPM. You can change the units of the time uh, and the temperature and the kilometers. All these units you can change in the menu settings, and I'll show you that in a little bit. So when you turn on the display, these options at the bottom are the default options, but you can toggle through these by pressing the menu button. So the next option, next screen gives you trip time, the calories, human power in watts, and the cadence RPM and um, cadence RPM and RPM. The next option that you get is trip time, trip distance, odometer and average speed and you can clear these values out and i'm going to show you that in a few let me go back to the home screen so this display has a option like other displays when you hold down the down button your bike goes into walk mode so one thing you got to know about this is that if it's on off level pedal assist is off and you press down the down button your bike is not going to go into walk mode. It'll say walk mode there, but your, your motor is not going to kick on. So you have to be in some kind of assist level. And then when you hold down the, yeah, I, I don't know if you heard that on camera, the, the motor kicked on a little bit. Basically walk is to give you a little bit of assist if you're going uphill or you need, need a little bit of assist while you're walking. That's what that's for. So this display has two menu options and both of those options can be accessed by pressing down, holding down the menu button. Which uh, menu option you will get into depends on how long your display has been on. So if it's less than 10 seconds and you hold down your menu button, then it's gonna give you a different option. This is the option for clearing your trip data. This is if your display has been on for more than 10 seconds and you hold down the menu button, this is the option you get. So this is where you would clear out your trip data. I already did it um, this morning, but this is you toggle up and down and you press the menu option to clear it out. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to get into the other menu option, the main menu option. So I'm gonna turn on my display and within 10 seconds of turning it on, hold down the menu button and now it takes you into the main uh, menu option. So the first option over here is trip mode you press the M button, you go in there, so you can choose from street or race. Once you select it, just press the M button to save your option. I'm gonna put in race because I usually use this for off-roading. Um, your battery, so this is depending on what voltage you're using. This, uh, this display is uh, capable from 36 volts all the way up to 52 volts. So mine is 52, 14 in series, save. Uh, third option is your wheel option. So you go in there, so you can ch set it from all the way down to 16, all the way up to 29. So this is a 29er. So let me change that, save that in. Uh, the startup theme, it could be either black or white. I like the black one, so I'm just keep on that one. The brightness, you go in there, five levels. 
I like it super bright. Um, I'm indoors right now, so. So five, your temp, this is where you change your uh, units right here. So temperature unit, I'm gonna change it to Fahrenheit and then you save it by pressing the M button. Speed unit, I'm gonna change it to miles. And auto off. So this is where your display has an option to turn off automatically after like whatever time of inactivity. It was off right now, but I'm gonna change that to five minutes. So after five minutes, if I'm not doing anything, it's gonna turn automatically off. Um, the clock, this is where you change your clock settings. You can change your password over here. And the last option is a system info. So basically your, um, your system info right here, the version number and all that stuff. So to go back, exit, and then you can't exit out of, you gotta toggle all the way up and exit the display right here. Okay, so that ends our DS103 display video. We already did a video on the SW102, so if you wanna check that out, hopefully this was useful. Uh, next video coming up is on the 750C. Until next time, see you guys later.